Hmm. Maybe we should have been a little nicer to the streamer, huh? Hmm. Maybe we should have been. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Pro. Only the most pro. Thank you, by the way. Thank you, Kamo. I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Good to see you all. Hey, and another day after your birthday. It's still your birthday, technically. Happy birthday. Hi, Lunar. Hi, Geeter Dunn. Hi, Big Taz. Bitter Bo. Hello, hello. Hello, Akemo, Chewy, Johnny, always win. Nullum. Hello, Big B. Cringe. <laughs> it's like your birthday week, technically. I guess it's like considered a birthday week. I mean, I consider mine for like a whole month, so. Oh, you are a liar, Lunar. Don't you lie to the chat. He's lying, chat. Don't, don't, don't let Lunar believe your lies. <laughs> He's lying. It's not his birthday. I would know if it was his birthday. Str chat would know. No. Absolutely not. You did not. You didn't put in the Discord. You did not. I don't believe you. You're lying. Lunar, you're lying. Your birthday was not August 9th. Are you serious? Luna, your birthday was August 9th? God fucking damn it, Luna. Why didn't you say something in the Discord? You know sometimes chat goes and I don't even fucking... Luna, it was really your birthday? God fucking damn it, Luna. Happy birthday. I love you. What the hell? God damn it. God damn it. Give me my fucking Discord. Hang on. Jesus. And fucking believable. Lunar, you know, let me know these things, man. <laughs> but yeah, birthday month cringe, by the way. Oh, hello, Fenyo. This this is the doors, baby. This is the doors. Happy almost birthday. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> Happy birthday, Lunar. Well, 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 if it isn't one more person in my life that doesn't tell me when their birthday is, now you're in the same ranks as Call of Booty. Call of Booty also doesn't enjoy telling me his birthday in advance. He tells me six months before and then I shame myself when I forget. <laughs> I'm so bad at birthdays. My mother is a Leo and Leos are really good. Hello, Matt. Hello, Angelique. Hello, my dermatitis. It's getting better, though. It's on the back of my right knee, so it's covered up. I'm on this, um, these antibiotics called clindamycin, and I just don't know why the world's constantly trying to kill me. The world is literally trying to kill me. Every day I live is another day closer to death. I've just, like, had this, like, existential crisis today that I, that I'm, I'm, like, painfully realizing that everything and everyone is trying to kill me on a daily basis, and even though we do live in a civilization that we are still very much, like, the daily job is to survive. Like if we don't eat food, we die. If we don't eat water, we die. If we get stung by a snake, I'm sorry, if we get bit by a snake or stung by like a poisonous wasp, we die. If we eat poisonous food, we die. Um, if we don't get enough oxygen, we die. If we don't get enough sleep, we die. Like literally every single thing on this earth wants us dead and our sole purpose is to survive while constantly dealing with crippling mental problems, um, society in general, money, relationships between friends, families, intimate relationships, everything is literally trying to kill you. So it's hard <laughs> for me to stream with this mindset because it's just like, what is going on? Holy hell, it's like, it's rough guys, it's rough. <clears throat> Anyway, hi Almighty, and I know I know Booty. I'm kidding. Hi, Lil Pay. I'm good. How are you? Sorry, I'm a little late today. I am taking these antibiotics that make me hella fatigued, called clindamycin, and I have to take them three times a day. On top of that, I'm taking my birth control pill. So like, I lost feeling in my hands last night, and then I went into my overthinking mode where I started googling like, can I take clindamycin with birth control? And I thought I was dying, and it's just been really. I miss when, like, I wasn't afraid of drugs or dying. I miss that, Angelique. Where's that, Angelique? You know, I just... Hi, Slimy Snow. <laughs> How are you? 
<laughs> Hi, Wild. Wild Cat Rip. Ooh, is it Wild Cat Rip or is it Wild California Trip? Either way, what's good? Hello, Duncan. He's trying to tell me that it's like stress-induced eczema, that I was basically born with eczema and my stress is inducing a breakout. And I'm like, sir, first of all, I think I would know if I had eczema because I've never had this issue. Also, I'm pretty sure that, yes, I... <laughs> Italian New York City gangs, are you fucking kidding me? Italian New York City mobster, huh? All right, hang on, I gotta get into it. I gotta get into it, I gotta get into it. Tony, Tony, go bring me the, go bring me the coins, you know what I'm saying? Go bring me the coins and open the door, all right? No, that's kind of accenting into something else. <laughs> Fuck, hang on, hang on. I should, I should be getting this, hang on, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to hear it with the doors in my brain. Every time I Google something, it always says I'm dying. <laughs> I keep I keep mixing Italian mobster with Tony Soprano. I'm sorry, it's getting in my brain. Um, <laughs> I literally keep Scarface. Get out of my head. Get out of my head. Get out of my head. I keep channeling Scarface for some reason. Fuck. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro and Goodfellas. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. <clears throat> no, no. Oh, better, better, better. Better. Hang on. Um, Joe Pesci, Goodfellas. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> funny how? Funny how like a clown? Funny like I amuse you? Funny, funny how? Exactly how am I funny? Exactly let me know how I'm funny. Funny how. <laughs> Fuck, dude, I don't know. Scarface was in my brain for some reason. <laughs> oh, thank you. But yeah, so they're, so they're, tr oh, it's Wildcat Trip. So yeah, they're trying to tell me that my stress is inducing dermatitis, um, which was fun because, um, again, just like when I had my bug bites, when you have dermatitis, if you itch dermatitis, because you don't know what it is, because if it itches, I'm going to fucking scratch it. So when you itch it, you're itching bacteria into your bloodstream. And here we are again. It progressed from dermatitis to cellulitis. And then guess what you can get from cellulitis? You can get sepsis. So I started getting intense muscle pains in the area that I had dermatitis. And I started getting the fever and a cold chills. And so I went to the hospital and they gave me fucking clindamycin and a shot and topical cream and the world is trying to kill me. I'm convinced. <laughs> hello, Maleko. Yeah, hello, Brunsta. How are you? No, I don't want to live in the 1700s. I would be the person to die from a cold. I would be the person in the Oregon Trail to fall off the back of it, get dysentery and drown with my horse. So I don't want to do that. <laughs> I just hate when like I go in there and like I know I know what it is because I've already spent 17 hours previous to going into that urgent care debating if I need to go in that urgent care and googling these things heavily and I hate when I walk in there and I'm just like okay I know what this is let's get it done let's load it up let's get the fucking meds I got shit to do let's get out and they're just like well what have you been experiencing I'm like no, no no I have dermatitis I looked it up please check it I know it's dermatitis I need this antibiotic, I need this shot, and I need this topical cream. If you could write me a prescription, that'd be great. I'll be on my way. Um, so me and doctors never really have a good time because they try to fight me on the fact that it's dermatitis, and then finally she said, okay, you're right, it is. You can't have a possible sepsis reaction if you don't take care of it. I'm like, I know. Please give me the medicine, and here we go. <laughs> Instead of driving a big Chrysler, she drives a Tesla now. <laughs> I have fallen off the wagon, rub salt in the wound, but now we are out of salt. Fucking sad, honestly. Dermatitis. So I'll show you the thing. Hang on. And then I, and then I have good news, actually. So hang on. Hang on one second. Okay, so this is going to be coupled with good news. So wait a minute. Okay. 
Okay, so here we go. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't say penny shh. Shush penny. Okay, so it's called clindamycin. And I need to, ge generic for cleosin, whatever the fuck that means. I need to take one capsule three times a day, which is a lot with food. So I'm like, that's a lot. That's a lot of stuff to be putting in my body on top of me being already paranoid about shit like that. So, but yeah, it's dermatitis and it's a skin rash that occurs apparently from lots of things, but he, they're trying to tell me that I was born with it and then my stress is bringing it out or something. I don't know. Your dad wants to get a Tesla and I have to keep telling him he's delusional. <laughs> I mean, if you're into it, whatever, do you? I, I don't personally love Teslas. I don't really like cars that try to drive for me. It's a control thing. I'm not, you know. The good news for much of this chat is that you have to get up to show us the dermatitis. Well, no, I was showing you the antibiotic. I can show you the dermatitis. It's on the back of my knee. But I was the first streamer you've ever seen. What do you mean? Can I even do this right now? It's healing now, but see, it's like right there. See it on the back of my knee. It used to, it was a lot bigger. It was kind of crazy. And I like itched it into my skin and then I started getting a fever and chills the other night. And that's when I knew it was like, no, no, no. I got to go do something about this. So I did and I'm feeling better. Hi, Quam. Oh, I'm always walking around empty buildings. I don't like walking around full buildings. I like walking around abandoned buildings. <laughs> they are big horse pills. <laughs> That's why I like the game Control. Yes, random person, you can be a mod. Please uh, whisper Call of Booty. He'll give you your mod privileges. Thank you. Oh man, I gotta skip that song just because it's sad. Hello, Cloud Boy. <laughs> Get the plaid. The plaid? Plaid, what plaid? Yes, please whisper him. He likes making new friends. Also, I like my little window because I can't see where my dogs are and I can spy on them. Hi, Ben. Hi, Binks. I'm like that annoying mom. Yeah, Kwam is a mod. Um, listen, we're doing yoga today. We're stretching. We got our CBD. We're rubbing that shit on our back and on our nipples. I know, I'm not, but you can. You can. It makes them nice and hydrated. <laughs> yeah, maybe later. Come back. We'll see. Plaid skirts. <laughs> if Rando gets mod, me too. <laughs> Tesla model S plaid, fastest car. There's no point in having a fastest car. Everyone's obsession with having fast cars makes zero sense unless you literally live in Europe and go to the Autobahn. Like, or you're a fucking race car driver. Or you're just super badass, like you're in some car gang and you do some drag racing shit at night like fast and furious like there's no reason for your car to go super fast because you you can't go that fast without getting a ticket i should know because i keep getting tickets when i'm doing 70 something not even 100 so there's really no point in having a car go that fast and except for saying that your car can go that fast it's like a dick measuring contest i mean it's fine i'm just saying i'm not being sarcastic Message Call of Booty. He'll give you mod privileges. He's a really nice guy, you know? For, <laughs> for everyone here for yoga, we're going to start out with chair yoga and then move on to the grounds. Unfortunately, I got rid of my yoga mat because I am getting a new one and I'm really excited because my old one was super fucked up um, because the cat that I used to live with decided to use it as a scratching post. I love Aqua. Me and her vibed hella, but she did scratch the fuck at my yoga mat, which made me sad. Moving on, um, I got a new one. I'm waiting for it in the mail. I thought it would be here by now, so I threw the old one out. So I do have the backup one, or I'll just go straight on the ground. We'll see. <laughs> this is 
you want to have RGB? Tom, it's, everything Peter Gunn has is that. There was this kid. There's someone outside and Penny's trying to fight them. Sorry, hang on, let me. There was a kid I used to go to school with who would drive without a muffler just to be annoying. <laughs> yeah, people still do that. That's a thing. Send you a 250 word essay, but I feel like if it was good enough, then you would have to give him something, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> Never tried CBD topical for yoga, but makes sense. CBD topical, anything. CBD in general is just fantastic. The only thing that doesn't really make any sense, in my opinion, is like, like CBD makeup or CBD hair products, like I genuinely, I'm just being honest with you, okay, because this is an unbiased opinion from somebody who loves CBD. I don't see any benefits from CBD makeup or hair products, to be completely honest. There's no reason to spend extra money, like CBD does nothing really to your hair or your eyelashes and your eyelids, unless there's something you guys know that I don't know. Um, but it's mostly for pain management. So topicals, tinctures, like stuff like that. Money. Perfect. We will now begin the live public mod interview. Why do you want to become a mod in this chat? <laughs> Please answer the question. I would love to hear that. Um, it does feel similar to Icy Hop, but there are a lot of healing benefits. Um, especially like in taking it. It is, it is really good for your muscles. CBD is fantastic if used correctly, but it also is like becoming a trendy thing. And so like anything, when things are trendy, you have to like, you have to make sure you're weeding out the reels and the fakes, you know, like you have to make sure that you're not taking something that is just like propaganda for CBD. <sighs> What do you mean? I am very sincere. Pretending to be sincere. That's kind of an oxymoron, I feel like. <laughs> oh. Wow, I, I, wow, I really downloaded a lot of... Oh, Peace Frog, I love this song. Oh, yes, the un... Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm just used to being like the sole unwashed savage, but... Okay, beautiful time for chair yoga. Whoever wants to do chair yoga, please get ready. Be on the edge of your seat, literally, because we're going to start stretching our bodies. If somebody can't, I'm gonna run and I'm gonna grab a little piece of dark chocolate before I start. Can somebody ping Migna because she really wanted to join? And I know I'm late, so I don't know where she's at, but let's see where she is. If anybody can do that for me, I'd appreciate it, thank you. Because she did message me and say she wanted to join. Cool? Okay, give me one second, I'll be right back.
You don't know what gamer goo is? Daz? You don't know gamer goo? Are you kidding me, man? You're not really a gamer then, are you? Because gamer goo is something gamers use. I should know. We're putting on this song because I love this song. I'm so glad you should ask. Gamer goo. Comes in a variety of scents. And <laughs> by using code Miss underscore Angelic W at checkout, you can get 15% off of Gamer Goo. Just go to GamerGoo.com. It not only is sweat reducing, grip improving, energy enhancing, but it's fucking great and it smells nice. Orange. Mmm, nice. <laughs> Please don't let your goo get crusty. <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry. A bunch of it fell on the cap and then it dried out. It won't dry out on your hands. It will dry out though if you leave it in the exposed air. God, that was the worst marketing pitch ever. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Gamer Goo. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yes, it's dark chocolate, Lunar. Sorry about that. <laughs> I am a professional gamer. You do not eat it, by the way, Daz. Just saying. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Almighty, for leading that. Hi, Artifact D. Hi, Bramf. To be fair, I still did a good job. You can put it on your armpits. All right, let this be known. Oh no, I got some goo in my hair. It's not the first time that's happened to me. Okay, anyway, um, <clears throat> let this be known for the first time that Gamer Goo responded to my tweets and they said that this Gamer Goo can be used as an antiperspirant. So we're gonna try it out on camera right now. Thank you, Serena, for the host and everyone who hosted me during the countdown, by the way. All right, so let's just make this dry. Now we got some gamer pits. I, I'm going to take that. Actually, you know what? Let's take the challenge. Let's do the plank challenge. I'm down. I am down. Imagine the feeling of minty orange. Also, yeah, so semi-sweet chocolate is in between milk and dark. Just stop, stop eating milk chocolate regardless. It's just not good for you. Just eat dark chocolate. Dark chocolate's bomb. Okay, you ready? One minute. One minute plank test for the gamer go. One minute. Okay, let's see who can outplank me. If you're down, let's all plank together. Okay? And I'm going to pick a song for us to plank to. We're gonna plank to. We're gonna plank to Joy Division. Let's go. <laughs> on the beat, ready? Here we go. Hang on. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it hurts to do this on wood!
dia wa dia wa ah one more time oh it's been a while since i've done that holy fuck Woof. <laughs> can somebody timer me, please? Call it Woody, can you timer me? Oh, right, 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 right. Hang on. <laughs> Don't clap for effort. That's what's wrong with this country, okay? Tell me I suck like I should so I can get better, okay? I don't want a participation award. I want to fucking earn it, all right? Ready? Ready? I have grown weak, I really am grown weak. But my back is straighter, so it's a win-win situation. I ordered my pole now. I'm finally healing myself, I'm happy. I was super skinny, then I gained a fuck ton of weight. Then I was kind of somewhere in between, and now I'm getting fit again. Okay, okay, ready? Ready? Okay. Okay, ready, booty? Three, two, done that in a while. I don't, are they? Booty, did we do scare alerts? Are they on again? How long was that? 30 seconds or what? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not mad about that. Hi, Red Shot. Thank you. All right, let me see. What was another fitness move I used to do all the time? I used to plank all the time. Oh, I used to wall squat. Oh, and I used to do donkey kicks. Oh my God, it's all coming back to me. <laughs> yeah, 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 donkey kicks. I remember that. That was, yeah. I need my weights on for that though, my ankle weights. All right, okay, ready? Can you time me doing the wall squat? Booty, please thank you. I need to I need to get timed at that and see how I do. And lunges, yeah, yeah. Okay, ready? Ready, ready, ready? <gasps> Am I fucking effing? Bruh. Okay, ready? Here we go. Okay, I can't see you, so I'm just gonna, I forgot to move the chat over. Oh wait, I have a bigger monitor for this now. Hang on, hang on. I got a bigger monitor. What am I doing? What am I fucking doing? It's the whole reason I got this bitch. Lego. Wow, Danny. Free ASMR? Foot fetish, you say? All right, here we go. Ready, buddy?
God. Bro. Oh, it's rough. That shit is rough. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was rough. That was a rough. Pretty good for someone with dermatitis and a broken toe from bangs. You can see it better now. It's a bruise. Do you see my bruised toe? Can you see that? I don't want to put my foot up to the camera because I can't, but can you see my bruised toe? <laughs> Young dumb hello. Good night, artifacts. <clears throat> Not that bad. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. I'm ready to bring it down though, and it's not broken. I kicked a ball and I grazed Binks's tooth, and here we are. Okay, now we're gonna zen it out, and we're going to go into some black mill, and we are going to do some yoga. Ah, Duncan, thank you, I know all too well. I've had many a time being suspended on Twitch. Never for my feet, though. I was lucky in that aspect, just for other things. <laughs> oh, man. I'm not going to lie. I, um, I was nostalgic today, and I was going through all the, uh, the Twitch VODs that are uploaded on the YouTube channel, and I was like, holy shit. That's crazy. We have done so much on this fucking channel. Like you guys who have been with me from the beginning have really seen me like grow so much on this fucking platform. It's actually kind of insane. Wild. I love it though, it's great. It's, nice. it's very nice to look back on too. And it's cool to keep creating with you. Okay, so. But Never Fear Demo is here. I'm going to link it right now. I'll put it in the Discord as well, but crazy. Okay. There we go. Go check that out. It's actually crazy. It's it's I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> it was just yesterday. Some of these clips are crazy though. I mean like the one that I was getting body painted with John, the one that I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing here. Oh my god, yeah, this is when I was popping balloons. That's crazy. That's when I was popping balloons. So fucking cool. This is my old fucking chair, too. Holy shit. God, it makes I gotta put these in the other I gotta put these in the video section. That one. And then there's, I'll put them in the Discord now under vids and ish, but that's the body painting one with John. That was crazy. And then, where's Discord? Hang on. The one with me and Breezy, the one that I was body painting myself. The one where you're playing Flip Cup. I don't even know why I'm wearing a dress here. Go figure. I don't even know. Crazy. Okay. I posted three. Memory lane. Old chairs. Remember when I put that one to the corner? I was so sad about that. I was really sad. I wonder who took my chair. I really do. I wonder like who took that chair. I remember everyone was giving me shit about feeling bad for the chair. Mm -hmm. I cried for my chair. I cried for my car. I cried for a lot of things. 
I'm a very nostalgic person. What else did I cry for? Um, <laughs> I, I, I just cried for a month. Oh, oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm totally missing the fucking... Dude, I didn't do an unboxing because I didn't realize this one was a gift. I was supposed to, and I do have more things to unbox from my, P my PO box. We'll do it on um, tomorrow. But I got to show you guys something super crazy fucking pog that I just received today in the mail from Anonymous Gifter. Are you ready for this? You ready? This is huge pog. Rayzod, you better be looking. You better be looking, Rayzod, because I'm very excited for this. Are you ready? I'm so happy! Up grade! Up fucking grade, baby! I'm so stoked. So, yeah, big pog. Somebody gifted me the mic. Thank you so fucking much, Anonymous Gifter. You're fantastic. I really appreciate this. Thank you. I'm very stoked to set this up. So big pog. So everybody's I will be calling you about this. <laughs> he has a robot penis. And I believe I do have the XLR cords that you got me a while ago, right? I think. But yeah, I'm stoked. Oh, yeah, the Adventure Time. I know. Then I was supposed to do it on the fence, and then that never happened because, oh, God, that never happened for a lot of reasons, but I am sure, oh, thank you for that. That's going to be a great fucking pun I use on a daily basis. Thank you. Thank you for that. Hang on one second. Oh, that was so nice. Can we just shout out Fusi for a minute? That's so nice of him. He literally just FaceTimed me to tell me, to tell me and Jason that we're killing it on TikTok. Like, big fucking love. To thank you so much. That's awesome. That made my day. Thank you. I love, I love fucking supportive friends. God, I love supportive friends. If you're not supporting your friends, what are you doing? Literally, what are you doing? Ugh! <laughs> Support. Oh, by the way, the gamer goo is working on my pits. So, if so for the so, so since you guys know that, just so you know, gamer goo does work on your armpits. Smells like nice oranges. Smells wonderful. Hi, demo. Smells very nice. Very nice. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, hang on. Let me go tell. Just because he said to tell him, so let me go tell him real quick. And then we're going to start gamer yoga. Everyone get in your chair, get water, and get ready, okay? Two minutes.
Thank you, Leonard, for the biddies. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Ready to zen? Are we ready to zen? Are we ready to zen? We're gonna we're gonna zen. Let's go. Zen out. Everyone ready? Sitting on the edge of your seats with bated breath. Just so fucking excited to do this. I know the cables on my floor are getting a little out of hand. But I use my organizing tags. I'm really proud of myself for that. Hey, demo music and sound lunar good. Yes, I forgot to ask at the beginning of stream. Okay. So, here we go. Sitting down. We're going to work on our backs right now. It's going to feel very nice. Just saying. I should be taking another one of these things too. Two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, I should be taking another one. Okay. Okay. All right, ready? On the edge of your chair, I want everyone to put your feet firmly planted on the ground. Feet on the ground, heels on the ground, hip bones in the chair, sitting straight, chest square, hips square, shoulders relaxed, chapstick on. Thank you. All right, we're gonna start with our necks as always. It's really important to loosen up your necks before we do anything because that's how we get like kinks and we pull our neck muscles and it never winds up being good for us. So let's start that, okay? We're gonna go all the way down. Nod your head yes. Shake your head no. Roll it all the way back. All the way forward. Nod your head yes. Shake your head now. Roll it all the way back. Last time, all the way forward. Nod your head, yes. Shake your head now. And come back to center. Ooh, that feels nice. Roll your shoulders back. Roll forward. Alternate back, left and right. And forward. And bounce them. Good. Taking our arms in front of us, we're gonna take our right arm across our chest shoulder low. You're going to hook it tight into your chest with your arm relaxed and you're going to breathe. In through your nose. Filling up that belly full of air. Out through your mouth. Hi Chris Hill, thank you. Switch arms, left one across, hug it tight into your body, shoulder low. Tight, tight, tight. This arm totally relaxed. Bring this in. Breathe in. Exhale. Yes, please join. Inhale. Hello, David. Hello, Calamity. Exhale. Inhale. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Exhale. Arms out, shake your wrists, rolling our wrists to the right. I'm sorry, rolling our wrists outwards. It's a great one. Rolling it inwards and out and in. Good. 
Taking our right arm out, we're going to pull back on all four fingers. You're going to keep your arms straight, but don't lock your elbow. You're just going to keep it straight, but make it like, you know, pliable. And as you are breathing, I want you to breathe in through your belly, filling up that belly like a big old balloon, and then exhale, depleting it. Switch. You're going to pull lightly on your wrist. You're going to stretch this part right here. Left arm, pull back on all four fingers, arms straight. Don't lock your elbow, but you're gonna keep it straight. If you are at your desk a lot or gaming a lot, this is gonna feel really intense for you, but it's good, I promise. Switch it down, lightly pulling on your wrist. You can do little pulses if you want to, or you could just hold it, but you should feel it right here. Elbows out. Right arm in front of the left one. We're going to bend at the elbow, circle around. Try to connect your hands. The whole point is to keep your shoulders low so you're really getting that shoulder, that wing in the back, you're gonna feel that pull. Welcome back. Release, switch, left arm on top of right, bend at the elbow right there, grab your hands, force that shoulder down. Deep inhale. And exhale. Big circles with our arms, okay? Rolling it all the way back. No, you don't lock your elbow. No hypertension. Forward. And back. Medium circles. And forward. And back, little circles. And front. Ah, oh, feels good, man. Strengthening out our triceps. We're gonna take our right arm, put it behind us. Palm is going to go against the spine. We're pulling on our elbow as we're simultaneously pushing into it. So we're stretching right here. Isn't she great? I'm so happy. Breathe. Exhale, switch. Left arm against your spine, pulling on that elbow, pushing into that elbow. I love when she does the glove things. And release. We're gonna go back to our neck and we are going to roll it around to the left. And to the right. And to the left. And to the right. And back to center.
Feels nice. Isn't that great? Some nice, some nice neck cracking for you. Now we're going to grab our hands behind our back and we are going to push our chest forward, extending our arms, releasing your neck. And oh, drop my headset, roll up. <laughs> Whew, namaste. Namaste. <laughs> mm-hmm. We're gonna do more. That's just everything that you can do in your gamer chair. I like to call it gamer yoga because you can do all that without getting out of your chair. So for people who aren't really inclined to get out of their chair and do yoga on the floor, this is something you can do. You can make it super quick and power through it. You can take the time you want and do it for like 10 minutes. Hello World War. If anything really hurts you because I don't obviously know your bodies or what you're going through or any like previous injuries you might have, just remember that it's different for everybody. If you need to make modifications based on any specific priorities um, in your body, please do so because like me, like suffering from my lower back issues, I had to modify some of my moves. So what I do is not necessarily meant for every single person. And if you needed some sort of modification on that, then let me know. But yeah, never force yourself into anything. Most people are capable to do so with a little bit of strength training and a little bit of flexibility practice, but if you have any injuries or pre-existing things with your body, you don't want to do every single thing exactly as I do it because it will hurt you. But yeah, that's some stuff that you could just do in your chair. Like I said, take two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes to stop your day and really stretch out your body, especially if you've been sitting at your computer for a while, gaming for a long time. You know, you need to take a break and focus on your body too. It's important, so that's something you could do for that. Um, now we're going to take it to the floor. I'm going to grab my other yoga mat and we're going to follow this up with um, if anybody wants to kind of like go more in depth and do some more flexibility training. I'm going to show you some stuff with our legs. Nothing crazy though because I am still going through physical therapy myself in a sense of like retraining my body to do these things I used to do even working out um, with a new focus and a straighter spine. So <laughs> let me grab my yoga mat. I'll be right back. Anybody who would like to join me please. Um, get some water. Make sure that you find a comfortable spot on your floor. You can put me on your TV or whatever you want. Um, you don't need a yoga mat. If you are on wood, it might hurt a little bit, but it is nice to be able to slide and stretch quickly. If you're on carpet, that's also easy. Or if you have a yoga mat, just get like comfortable on the floor. Um, if you want to put on some sort of pants that you can easily move around in without fucking it up, like big sweatpants or like flowy pants, stretchies, anything like that. Or if you're demo and you're a sadist, get a bed of nails. <laughs> and be naked and then just stretch on there. <laughs> I'll be right back.
there's a giant fucking some sort of bug in the garage where my yoga mat is and I refuse to go in there. I, no. I'm doing it on the floor. I don't know what that thing was. It looked like a little hovercraft. Absolutely not. Hello, Thunderstrike. That's not happening. It looked like a little round object with a ton of legs. It looked like a disc and it went and went under my car. And now I don't have a yoga mat. I refuse. No, absolutely not. No. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. No, no, I know what a water bug looks like. That was not a water bug. I don't know what that was. It won. You know what? Have my yoga mat. I don't need a yoga mat. Okay? I don't. I don't need one. I will do this the old fashioned way. Excuse me, Penny. Here, Penny, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. There we go. Okay. We're gonna stretch, okay? Yeah? We're not, we are not doing that. That is not happening. What the fuck is a landmine bug? What is a landmine bug? What is that? I don't want to know what that is. Normally I would send Penny to kill the bug, but... That is just... What are landmines? Potato bugs? Fuck is a potato bug? Do I want to look this up? Do I, to look, do I want to look this up? I don't know if I want to look this up. I'm gonna look it up anyway though. Potato. Potato bug. What is that? I don't think that's real. That looks like the creature from. Hold on, that's not real. This looks like the creature from. That movie Predator? I don't think that is right. I don't think that's correct. Is that real though, that big one? That's not a big, that's that's the thing from Predator. Okay, I definitely. <laughs> ah, that one's photoshopped? Okay, yeah, that's the thing from Predator, right? I was like, wait, hello? Oh man, I lost the chat. Hi, Penny. Hi, BB. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. I'm just letting everyone know that these pills make me feel like shit. Um, and my stomach really hurts. I'm really gonna power through it. So everybody sit on the ground. And if you're... Thank you, Penny. If you're doing this, you're gonna be doing froggy. So then you just sit with your one foot in and your one foot out. And your dog in your lap. Thank you guys. That's what I said. I was like, wait, the predator one though? Okay, hi. Mwah. Okay, I know. I love you too. Can you go lay down over there? Can you come over here and lay down? Thank you. Thank you so much. Can you lay down? Can you lay down? Can you lay down? No, no, no. Sit. 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 Thank you. Okay. For those of you who don't know, this is Penny, and this is Froggy. And so if you could sit in Froggy, that'd be amazing, thank you. So you're gonna hang out right here. This is really good for beginners to just learn like what it's like to have that flexibility on your leg. I know, I, I love them so much, truly. Like I would, I would take a bullet for them. Yes I would, yes I would, yes I would. I know, I love you too. Okay. So, like I said, uh, two of your butt bones on the floor, your one leg out, you're going, <laughs> you're going to, <laughs> thank you so much, love. Uh, you can stretch and try to grab this foot if you want to. Okay. I know, I love, I know, I know, I know. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Please stop licking my back. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I know. Anyway, grab your toes, bring your one arm up, and try to reach if you can. Okay. <laughs> it's never ending. Okay. 
So, <laughs> thank you, Demo. Thank you. Thank you. I know. Precious. You could take your leg and you can flip it the other way as well. Now, this looks really awkward and it's going to be, it's going to feel as awkward as it looks. But it's really good to stretch that out right here. You're, it's like a hip opener. This is a lot harder on the floor, but like I said, I refuse to go by the bug. So... Stretch it out. Give your dog a neck massage. She likes neck, mas neck massages, so. Again, reach for it if you can. Come back to the center. We're going to switch legs, so your left leg's going to come in, right leg is going to go out. Oh, I forgot I had that leg back. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me about that. Not that it would hurt her, but... Sweetie is not that bad. <laughs> you're going to make any, you're going to bounce here with your one leg in. Little froggy pose for you. Grab your right foot, left arm comes over, reach for it. I know. <laughs> she is a fucking deer. Get out of her butt, get out of her butt. Gross. Come back to center. Okay, we're going to do the awkward leg thing. So left leg is going to turn and go out. Again, super awkward, but needs to be done. Grab your foot, reach over. I know. Guarding me from what? Exactly. I don't know. The world will never know. I'm going to bring our feet together into the foot penis one. The, bu <laughs> the bug is in the garage. However, I will, I would love to get her to eat it. No, I don't want her to eat it. I, I don't know. I mean, Penny likes um, attacking bugs, but she might get sick from that, so I don't want her to keep eating bugs. If you can, grab onto your knees and push them down lightly. Thanks, those are wires, baby. Hey, Inky, come here, baby. No, no. You're going to unplug my stream. The foot penis, yeah, somebody was naming, <laughs> somebody sent me this funny yoga thing a while ago and it like renamed all of the popular yoga moves with like funny names and <laughs> they called this, well, this one's called butterfly and they renamed it the foot penis because it literally looks like you have a foot dick. <laughs> I only have two dogs. I watched a Snapchat story today about a woman who has 11 children and who wants more. Is it wrong of me to think though that like, is again is that like a kind of mental illness like are you are you an ill person if you want like 11 kids like is there something are these things normal like um you know how people play the game like stylish or like homeless it's like a fucked up funny game that people play like oh are they like a crackhead or is that their style because they're so rich like you know um that was on snapchat a while ago too but it's kind of like that way with like certain things i see i'm like is this your quirky personality or a mental disability like you know what i mean like is it Mental illness, like, you know what I mean? Is it something like, you have 11 kids because that's cool and you want a big family, or you have 11 kids because you have daddy issues and you're trying to make up for the lost love in your life. Like, I never really know anymore because I'm looking at things in a different way. But then again, I'm pretty sure, I've, like I said, everybody has their own issues, so we're all dealing with things differently. It's interesting, though, to think about it, super thought. That's what I mean, like, is this a quirky personality or is this 
mental illness. Most of the time, it's mental illness, just like disguised as fun. <laughs> we all have issues. Hello, Sai. How are you? Exactly. Once your looks like a penis. Well, that's what I mean. It's and then her sister like goes on to talk about how she has like kidney issues and she had to have one kidney removed and how like. Her body cannot possibly bear children anymore, and I'm like, I already like if somebody was like, you will die if you have one more kid, then then you have to take that into consideration. I can barely have, handle having dogs. What do you mean, sibling? I can barely handle having these two. Penny, Penny, hey, hey, Penny, Penny. Benny, are you a big baby? Hey, are you my big baby? You're the biggest baby, huh? You are, huh? Yes, you are. She always looks like that, don't we? Don't let her fool you. She just has, she puts on a sad face for everybody. It's a trick. They're all tricks. <laughs> okay, we're gonna sit on our knees. And we are going to move our bodies in any way that feels good for us. <laughs> she will conserve her energy. Not gonna lie, if I sneeze funny, I'd reconsider being a parent. If you sneeze funny, what do you mean by that? These do not make me feel good. These make me feel really gross. I do not like this. I do not like that I need to take these three times a day. Ugh. Hi, Binky. Hi, honey bear. Wanna do yoga? Wanna do yoga? Yoga? You don't even know how to give me your paw. Paw? 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 Come on. Paw? Paw? She's so defiant. Penny, no problem teaching tricks. Binks? It's like Binks is almost too smart for tricks. She's just like, what the fuck do I get out of this? No, I'm not gonna be your little puppet. Yes, you. I know. Yes. I know you are my... You're my good obedient girl. She said, don't worry, mom, I'll give you my paw, I know how. Binks is an asshole. <laughs> but I feel like Binks and Penny are both equally different parts of me. Like, Penny is the cute, loyal part of me, and then Binks is like the asshole, like, I'm independent, fuck you part of me, you know? And this is what me and Penny do on a daily basis, by the way. If anybody ever wanted to have nice, like, quality time with your dog, just give them a neck massage. She'll just come up to me like this and hang her head down, and you just give her a neck massage. Neck massage dog ASMR. Hey, honey. Can I have your paw? Can I have your paw? 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 Paw, good girl, thank you, I love you. Other paw? No, other paw, the other one. No, the other one. Other paw. Uh, <laughs> yes, good, good paw, good paw. Other paw. There we go, the girl. <laughs> Litter, one day when I bring Penny over there, you can give her a neck massage. <laughs> The cone of shame that the vet makes dogs wear after surgery should be considered medieval torture devices. I know. Raise that. I highly suggest um, you should get her the soft cone. That's what I got for Binks after after Binks got fixed. Um, they won't provide them, but you can buy them. They're only like five, ten bucks at like the Petco, and it's the blue one that I posted photos of her in. It's much like easier than the hard plastic ones, and they can sleep in it and shit. It's still not going to be the best, but I definitely 
recommend a soft cone if your dog is going through some shit because it was much more tolerable for Binks to deal with that than that hard plastic one. Because the hard plastic one, like, they bump into things and it, like, rings their ears and also it's, like, really rough and heavy. So. <laughs> Next ASMR stream will just be me giving Penny a neck massage. Yeah, for sure. Literally, like, you can go probably tomorrow morning and get one. Soft cone. Super easy. So she doesn't have to suffer. I know, I can't even handle that. That's why it's so important to like give them any kind of... <laughs> That's why it's so important to feed them good food and especially give them supplements if they need to. Um, Demo, you should look into any like kind of like joint supplements. They have them, not just just for for dogs, but everywhere. Um, look up dog vitamins, um, joint supplements for... And then they have like a hair, skin, and nails one as well that helps dogs as they age. It's like dog vitamins. Good, good stuff. Sorry, all my, all my, all my dog tips and tricks and shit. I'm very passionate about that. Okay, are you down for your neck massage? I gotta go back to yoga, okay? You're welcome. I know. Ah, oh, thank you very much, Bobby. I try. Okay, we good now? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, I would love to. You know me. I'm all about your health, body health, dog health. I'm all about that. Mental health. I don't have the best mental health, but I like to help other people with their mental health. I feel like it helps me with my mental health when I help other people with their mental health. And I know that's not how it works, but it makes me feel better as a person. So, <laughs> no, I don't backflip. Organic eggs and cook the empty shells. I never heard about that. That's awesome. I would love Chris Hill. Can you please DM me that? The chat disappears and it's always really hard for me to go find these things. So if you can DM me that, that'd be fantastic. Thank you. All right. So now we're gonna do lunges. Penny right there. We're gonna bring our right foot up into a lunge, and we're going to hang out here. Arms up. Eggshells are a normal way, almighty. Turn your body to the right. You're going to place your elbow against your outer knee. Now, if you want to, you can hang out here. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, find your balance. Tuck your toe under. And staying your upper body, keeping it like this, just stretch out that bottom leg. Because it's cool. I think it's so cool you can create with a little bit of ingenuity, ingenuity and knowledge. Knee down. Stretch out that left. Stretch it out, stretch it out. Oof. Remember, it's not about how far you can go or what crazy form or poses you can hit. It's all about how your own body feels. Never push your body to where it does not feel good. That's the biggest mistake that I made whenever I was really into it because I didn't know the limits of my own body when I had my spine issues, so I forced it too much and it really fucked me up. So never push it to where you didn't feel good from it. That's not the point of it, you know? Okay, switch knees. In before I start my dog yoga coffee shop, you bring your dog. We all have dog play dates outside. While they're having a play date, get a cup of coffee. After you get your kombucha coffee, you come do yoga with me in the back room. Okay? Hip square, core tight, pelvis tucked. Breathe in. Exhale. Bring your body to the left. And then when you're comfortable, tuck that foot. If 
you want to get crazy, grab your hands. Lean back and stretch it out. Try to use your opposite hand to grab your toes for a deeper stretch, but if it hurts you, you can do the same side. I still have them. Um, it's a long process, but I'm happy to say it's, it's really feeling better. Um, I have lower lumbardosis. Have lower lumbardosis, which is really fun because I found out that not only did it tilt my pelvis, <laughs> But because of, hello, large bag of chips, Penny, I mean, thanks. <laughs> but be, I, mean, I love you too, I know. Thank you for licking my arm. I'm so clean now. Um, but because of my tilted pelvis for years of living in this body and not knowing and trying to correct it, uh, I found out that it tilted my uterus, <laughs> which is interesting. Thank you, come here. <laughs> which is interesting because my gynecologist told me that. I was like, is that going to like hinder me from living life or having kids if I wanted it in the future and stuff? And she said, no, she said, you just have a tilted uterus because of your tilted pelvis. And I'm like, cool. So basically what that means and what my physical therapist told me is that, sorry, if this is like kind of gross for you, but just so you know, when you have a tilted pelvis due to lower lumbardosis, the outer lip of your stomach, like organ lining, like what keeps all your organs in, goes down. So your organs kind of tilt shift. And so that's what was happening with me, which is why some of my stomach was bloated. Those were not, that wasn't bloat, that was my actual organs tipping over that lid, which is fucking gross, as I found out. Not a huge issue, because you can live like that normally, but it does obviously affect you in a weird long term. So because of living my life with lower lumbardosis, my uterus shifted down and I have a tilted uterus. So by correcting my spinal issues, the goal is to bring all that back in and eventually recorrect the organs so they stack on top of each other again. So I'm in that process, it's really fun. <laughs> Hello Fanu, how are you? Good morning. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. It's a lot, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. I'm not gonna lie, like doing daily things in an altered way is kind of rough. Like. I had to take months off of fitness, I had to take months off of dancing and pole, um, had to take months off of yoga, uh, it like hurt me to walk, it hurt me to sleep, it hurt me to literally fucking exist when I was restacking my spine because it was breaking away tissue. Now I'm in the process where I need to start doing exercises, which I've been doing off stream, um, to tighten my abs again because I haven't worked out my abs since I didn't really work out. Um, so now I need to redo that to tighten the muscles. And now this is going to be like the final stage of like restacking. So we will, yeah, it's so crazy how so many of our issues like stem from our spine and just shit we were not taught about. Like it's actually insane how like how little knowledge we have in Western civilization. Truly, like I've learned that from multiple doctors and physical therapists and stuff and gynecologists. It's like kind of insane how much we don't know. It's, it's kind of like the equivalent of like us going to school and being taught about like rhombuses instead of like how to pay our taxes and be like a fully functioning human <laughs> in a society where money is dominant. Uh, it's kind of like that, but for our bodies, like we only really learn kind of nothing. And then we realize like, holy shit. Like, I mean, even like anxiety and stress like stem could stem from an unaligned spine. It's, it's crazy. It really is crazy when you kind of learn more about it. No, I'm not in trouble, Fanu. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's rough. To, oh, thank you, large bag. It does suck, though, because I have to alter my life so much for the past few months, and it made me really discouraged about stuff, but because I made so much progress, I feel like, with, like, fitness and dancing and pole, and I kind of have to redo all that shit, but I'm, I'm down for the challenge. I was up for the challenge to begin with, so I'm down for it again. Mm hmm Yeah, exactly. I tr I do want to spend more time upside down. Yeah, it's it's like crazy. I'm telling you, when you get me too involved into thinking about that shit, I get too like weird. I can't function. <laughs> it's, I can't function when I think too deep into it. To be to be totally real with you, it it bums me out a lot, honestly. But whatever. 
It's it. Yeah, you should be angry. You should be very angry. Yeah, exactly. But I feel like the world's waking up a little bit more to those things slowly, and I'm seeing a lot more of that kind of content, which is cool. And hopefully, it doesn't just hopefully it doesn't just like you know pass by as like entertainment or like trendy things. I hope it stays. You know. Yeah, of course. It's always, it's, it's hard, like, on stream because it's not, like, I mean, there are VODs, but it's not, like, a YouTube video, so I feel like I repeat myself a lot, but I always kind of want to, like, tell people if you're new in the chat or if you just missed the part where I was talking about it, you know what I mean? Yeah, hopefully. Slowly but surely, we're making progress on that. Um, but a lot of that starts with health and what you eat and what you drink and stuff. Um, has a lot to do with that. Has a lot to do with that. Trust. Excuse me, baby. I'm going to get my chair back now. I'm sorry, guys. I got to sit down. This fucking hill thing is making me feel gross. Blech. Thank you, baby. Blech. Oh, my God. It makes my stomach hurt. Oh, sorry. I'm just going to chill for a second. It keeps me in shape. Keeps, what, what keeps me in shape? Oh, food or what do you mean? The exercises? Yoga? Well, it all keeps me in shape. But I feel like also like, in, I actually thought that because I had to stop, you know, working out so hard and doing pole and all that shit because of my back, I thought that I would be gaining weight. And I did a little bit, but nothing crazy because simultaneously is when I started like really getting into like nutrition for myself. So I feel like it kind of helped balance it out. If I was eating how I was like over a year ago and coincidentally not doing this shit, then yeah, it would have probably been bad for my body, but it's a little easier. See, our problems are, are our driving force. That is true. They are big motivators. They're really big motivators. I'm going to take this sitting down time to drink water as y'all should too. Hydrate yourself. Put some CBD on your back. And I would like to shout out again. Thank you to anybody who's just coming into the chat. I got gifted this new mic. I'm very excited about it. Thank you, Anonymous Gifter. Off my wish list. It's my new Sure one, so I'll be setting this up. I'm very stoked about this, so thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Blech. You literally have to go through hell just to get referred. Yeah, and it's a long process, like I said. It's not something that happens overnight. It really is, like... I mean, when, when my, like, orthopedics... When he, when he like, talked to me about, um, whatchamacallit, like, how long it'd be, it would take for me, to, for me to feel better again, like, in January, he told me, like, it would be a year until I could really start doing crazy shit again. And I, like, cried. Because <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be that crazy. But, I mean, you are realigning yourself after all the years you've been alive on earth doing it incorrectly. So yeah, I mean, it makes sense that it would take that long, but I was like, fuck man. So I'm just trying to follow doctor's orders and do everything I'm supposed to and not push myself too hard and stuff so that I can get back to normal. And yeah, it sure is nice. I ain't trying to have any more problems. Yeah, the health issue thing isn't that great. Ayo, Bo. How much for the old one? Honestly, I think I'm going to put it in the giveaway. I'm going to put them in the giveaway. I'm, I'm doing a big giveaway after I reach... After this dono goal, the next one's going to be a giveaway. Um, and I'm going to put this mic into it, one of my old monitors, monitors into it, my old graphics card into it, uh, my old keyboard. I'm just going to put a bunch of computer parts into it, to be honest. I think that's the move. Penny... I'm sorry, what? She flicked my wall. Oh, thank you, Newfie. This is Penny. That's Binks. They're really good dogs. My my a lot of my friends and family sometimes aren't dog people, and I introduce them, and they're like, "Wow, they're super well trained." And so yeah. Mango. They are basically cats. Okay. It's not big. I'm gonna put it in a box, and then part of that donation goal is gonna go to shipping. But it's like it's my small one, the Asus one. It's like twenty. What is this? Twenty five inches. It's small. So yeah, no, it's, it'll be it'll be fine. I'm gonna throw that in there with a bunch of stuff and ship it out. And then yeah, the donor goal will go towards 
the shipping the shipment. Thank you, Newfie. It's my little yoga outfit. My yoga workout outfit. I really like this because it has pockets that go in the front, which is cool. Dude, they're they're very chill. They are very chill dogs. They really don't require much attention, like much attention as she's sitting here. Normally she really doesn't. She just knows I'm on camera, so she likes to be a little attention whore. But um yeah, no, they're they're really they're really chill. The most they get that are really crazy are like when they meet new people, they get really excited. Or when they meet new dogs, they get really excited. But for the most part, they're sleeping or chilling or whatever. No, they're not Lululemon. Um, oh God, what are they? I love Lululemon, though. Feel free to get me anything Lululemon ever. Adosa? They're Adosa? Lululemon is bomb. There's another one that came out, too, called... There's a new one that I really wanted to get into called Skatey, I think. I can never show these things on stream, though, because <laughs> if I can't wear this on stream, I definitely can't be showing girls wearing this on stream. Uh, let's see. Is it skating? Oh, no, this is a oh, woven. Woven, woven. Yeah, no, it is skating and woven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. So these are dope. These are really cute. So the, where is this? Yeah, so that's active. So there's skatey and then there's woven as well, if you're interested in getting something for yourself. These are two sites that, plus like they're sustainable, so I love that shit. I'm all about it. Active, active, active. Okay. Okay, I'll post those there. Let's see, Discord, not Steam. By the way, thank you to Call of Booty who gifted me Spelunky 2 on Steam. Okay, let's see. Um, that's Skatey. This is Woven. Two really cool brands to go support. I gotta get shit from there. Cool. I know. I'm. I'm very. I'm very stoked. I used to have let Lululemon sweatpants. Do I have a specific water I prefer? Oh my goodness, I thought you would never ask. Of course I have a specific water. I love this one. This one's great, the Hawaiian Springs. I also do the Waikikea water, um, also Hawaiian water. Um, and then I love Icelandic. Um, I love Skyra and Eternal Springs. Those are some good ones. Remember, purified water does not hydrate you. Like a room and set up and I actually did planks. Hey, thank you so much, Johnny. Thank you for hanging. Hi, Noggin Blaster. Booty's allowed to drink tap water where he lives. You're allowed to drink tap water. You can't, don't drink New York City tap water. Also, please don't drink LA tap water. Just don't do it. <laughs> Y2K water check. And for fuck's sake, don't drink smart water. Good God. Oh my god, me too. I would want to just swim in an ancient glacier. <laughs> you have a pro filter. The only pro filter that's out on the market is the life water, uh, the life straw filter. That's the only pro filter on the market, honestly. Uh, the makers of that life straw where you can put it in a lake and drink it. That's the only one that's like anti anti microbial, etc. You'll grow a thirst leg, but not in the place you want to. It'll be from your forehead. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nufi. Thank you. Uh, and it's just, in general, those waters aren't really the best for you because they're not really hydrating you correctly. They don't have any minerals. Um, you should be looking for water that has a good, um, a high TDS um, and natural, you know, natural minerals, not like added mineral, you know, added, added minerals and electrolytes, like. You know, New York has some of the best tap. Yeah, New York State, not New York City, in my opinion. Smart water is made by extracting IQ points from the drinker and siphoning it back to HQ. <laughs> oh God, no! Something like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's 
let's look up Lululemon. I haven't looked up Lululemon in a while. What do they got? What do they got? What do you got, Lululemon? Shop Lululemon. Incredibly unaffordable activewear. Let's see. Hawkwork, thank you so much for resubscribing for three months. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Okay, let's see. Lemon, not loungewear, leggings, sports. Let's just check out the leggings, shall we? So soft, they're famous. I never had a pair of Lulu leggings. Lulu lemon leggings, I would not know. Hmm. Oh, that's kind of a look though, that's cool. Shop Wonder Train, what is Wonder Train? Hmm. Let's see, women, what's new? Best sellers. Oi. Oh, I've heard of Lulu, but have you? I mean, it looks nice. It's just kind of basic stuff. It looks like some nice basic leggings and shit. What, what are they after loungewear? What is the Lululemon Lab? That's concerning. What are they gonna do? <laughs> the Lululemon Super High Rise. <laughs> they're not just high waisted. They're super high waisted. Oh my god! What does that even mean? They're gonna be up to my titties. Super high waisted. Okay, sure, whatever. I'm not gonna argue that. That's totally fine. <laughs> Up to your chin. No, really, that's what I just basically said. I'm so confused. Super high waisted. Low rise is dead and gone where it should be. Low rise is dead and gone. Low rise were for fucking terrible caused terrible eating disorders in women. Low Rise was made for Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera in 2001 and should be dead and gone and stay with that body type. <laughs> Camel foot. Nobody is confident enough to wear those super crazy low rise unless you literally have washboard abs, which is not, I don't even have washboard abs, so. Unless you have washboard abs, that stuff is not cute. Also, like, low-rise stuff was only cute if, again, like, you had really tiny frame. But it only looked cute from the front. It never made your butt look cute. Maybe if you're, like, an older soul where you liked that kind of butt back then. But, like, for people who have, like, a cute fucking, like, dump truck booty, those don't look good with you. Yeah, high-rise, like fully forms your booty makes it really nice you know what I mean it's a nice look from the back low-rise butts don't look good they're super tight and low and you know, I don't like it <laughs> great so mine tilted as fuck hello Obren yes Binky hey Binks she's crying at the door if anybody hears her I love your accent. Are you American or Canadian? Well, I'll... <laughs> Hello, Nick. Thank you so much for the resub for 11 months. Thank you. Well, I'll give you a hint. I cannot walk outside my house right now and go get some maple syrup in the woods. Cannot. I can. <laughs> Thank you, Hawkwork, for gifting a sub to O'Brien. Thank you so much. I can walk out my door and go buy a gun and a hamburger, but I cannot buy, I cannot walk out and go get maple syrup in the woods. Who am I? <laughs> Let's play the guessing game. Here, baby, come here. Let's fill up. Come here. Here, 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 here. There you go. No penny, not you. It's Binks' pillow. Sit. Thank you. <laughs> Canadian. South Florida. <laughs> America, yes. Yes, I am. You're lucky though, you live in Australia. You're your own fucking island. You don't have to listen to anybody. You can just say fuck off to every single person. That's the best thing about Australia. They are genuinely their own continent. Like they can, they are their own people and their own continent. They don't need to listen to shit from anybody. 
except Kangaroo Jack, and that's it. Maple syrup is harvestable in mid-February. I will say this again, if you are not familiar with the company, big shout out to Rainbow, okay? If you are in Canada and you are near their area, I will post that as well in the Discord, they do mushroom foraging party hikes where they go out together and you help forage mushrooms with them for their tinctures, which I buy. You can go see it. It is on the wish list. It's from Rainbow. I get the 1111 one. It has all the good mushies in there. And I take it every day in my coffee. They also have maple syrup with mushrooms in it as well. So go check them out. And if you're in Canada, go forage for some mushrooms and then please send me some because I really want to go there just to do that. What is this badge that I have besides the sub one? Oh, you have a little present because you gifted a sub. So thank you. Do you know the Brisbane band Shepherd? I do not. Why would I do work to harvest shit I'm going to buy anyway? Because they're very, they're two very cute girls who are super hippie and knowledgeable about everything that is forest and mushroom related. And I salute them on their quest because they are, they seem like they're awesome. Oh, see, that's cute. That's cool. I feel like I would accidentally, like, I don't even know how, but I would accidentally, like, pick magic mushrooms and then just trip out. <sighs> Hi, Pops. Well, you're welcome here. I'm very sorry to hear about your puppy. Of course. Welcome. Shepherd sing Geronimo and Let Me Down Easy. I don't know those. Why do I? I don't know those songs. You have to sing them for me. I've done some foraging for shrooms in the cow fields of Louisiana. Dude, that's the move, honestly. That's on it. People who are farmers from like the Midwest, fucking genius. They have a whole operation where they live off the land, right? They make money <clears throat> selling fruits, vegetables, meat, whatever. And then on top of that, they make side money selling mushrooms to people. Like, that's a whole fucking move. You are, that's like a. Ding, ding, ding. You are like hitting all the basis of being a farmer. You are genuinely self-sustaining, making money from your product and making side money, side hustles from shrooms. That is, you, I see you farmers, okay? I see, you're smart, you're smart as fuck. You like to pretend that you're all conservative and shit and you are selling the psychedelics. Listen, good for you, man. Good for you, that's all I gotta say. We'd bring a camera to see where we were taking pictures for an art project for school. Oh, to say you. <laughs> Two bottles of orange juice in one day. Careful with that orange juice. Make sure you're getting a good brand. Lots of sugar. Diabetes. Say, Geronimo, can you feel my love bombs away? I don't know that song. I'm just a boy. The minute you said that, I thought, I'm just a soul whose intentions are good. Oh, Lord, please don't let me be misunderstood. That song. <laughs> Farmers need that to make ends meet because being a farmer is hard. I know. Being a farmer is, is very hard. That's something that you think is going to be really easy and then it's not. And then the other day I was driving and I saw something that, that said there are open jobs for people who are solar panel washers. So people pay other people to come wash their solar panels. That is wild to me. You can truly, just the money making is endless. Solar panel washers, like what? The cows and chickens low key be dealers. <laughs> Dude, you saw the hangover, that monkey? He was a dealer, okay? I've identified who in the chat is hi. <laughs> That's a fun game to play. I, I also like that. Hi or woke. <laughs> hi or woke. I love that game. Or both. You can be both, but. There is one natural I should keep on, which is, which is what? Can you feel it when it coming back? Can you steal it? Can you steal it? As reach the sky, I can hear. I don't know them. I'm so sorry, Obren. Well, no, I'm just saying I figured that people would wash their solar panels themselves, but damn, they're hiring people. 
to wash their solar panels, which I don't know if I could think of like something more tedious to do in like the beating sun and a hundred degree weather than to go sit on glass on someone's roof as it reflects in your fucking eye and wash it. Hello, Sharks fan. Well, that too, I know some people don't like going on their roof, but that's just, they can't just, just get the hose, you know, at that point. I don't know. You use Dawn dish soap? Shout out to Dawn. I, I wish I had solar panels. The Hangover is legitimately one of the funniest movies I ever watched. I second that notion. When I first saw it in theaters, I actually peed my pants. There are genuine times that I've actually, like literal piss has came out of me into my pants from laughing so hard. And you know when like you read a really good book and you're like, fuck, I wish I could like have that feeling of when I first read it and erase my mind so I can experience reading it all over again. The Hangover will never be as, it's, it's still a great movie, but it will never be as funny as the first time you ever watched it. The first time I ever watched The Hangover in movie theaters, I fucking peed myself. I was laughing so hard. So some of those things you just cannot redo. You can still laugh at them, but nothing's as funny as the first time. My father-in-law has solar panels on top of his hangar, which is 25 feet high. He'd be glad to pay someone to wash those. Well, fuck, checks. Let's talk, you know? Like, where is this... Where is this roof? Let me know how much. I can stream it. Double income. Let's go. <laughs> oh, 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 natural. Got it, got it, got it. No, that's good. That's good, Fanu. How do you know how many the top sub-gifter has given? Oh, you can scroll down. Or no, I don't know if you can actually see it in my bio. I know you can see it, the bits. Paul, Paul is the winner for bits. Paul and Razod were going back and forth a little bit. I think Razod's number two, I believe. If you scroll down, you can see the leaderboard. Paul's number one. Um, the gifter? I don't know. I gotta say off the top of my head that I think the top gifter that I have is Danny. I wanna say it's Danny. I think it's Danny. I think. I don't know. I don't know how to check that, actually. If you have the money to buy solar panels, why would you risk your life <laughs> to clean them? True. I don't know if I wet the whole seat, but I definitely peed my pants. Imagine not wearing sunscreen the first day washing the panels. <laughs> the, okay, wait, hold on. You're just adding to it, Quam. So now I got a free tan, okay? I got a free, like, sped up tan. I get money, and I get to sit on someone's roof all day cleaning things meticulously. Therefore, like, satisfying that weird part of me that has an anxiety to clean things. I like that. If I have to use a ladder, it's hazard pay. Bro, you know what I want to watch? I'm, I mean, I, I want to know. I want to know how much window washers get. Like the one on crazy sky skyscrapers. I need to know how much money they make. I'm just genuinely curious because I feel like that would be like a hazard risk job where you would have to like get paid a lot of money to go do that. So I feel like that's, that makes good money. Talk about hazard pay, wildcat. With the fish, oh, the fires in Greece, they have agreed a half bill windmill project to fly to the clouds of Europe. Oh, you mean those big, like, windmills with the white, yeah, 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 yeah. Danny's over 2K. How'd you find that out? Holy shit, Danny. My dad saw there's something about Mary's in theaters when it first came out, and he remembers seeing other movie go. Oh yeah, it's something about Mary's fucking comedy. It is also, it is also interesting to see like how time shift and how like what people once thought was hilarious has shifted and like the generational things that were funny and stuff. It's very it it is it's but I will say this again, okay. Old Peter Pan and old Disney movies. Like, the old cartoon 2D Disney movies are genuinely fucking hilarious. And whether you are sober or if you want to drink or do some funny, you know, inducing things, um, I highly recommend just to go sit down and watch all those old movies one day. I did it by myself, like, a year ago, and I, again, like, peed myself from watching Peter Pan. I thought it was so funny. Very underrated as we get older. I feel like Disney just constantly pumps out and promotes like the same, oh my God, my belly stop. I feel like Disney constantly just pumps out and promotes the same like bullshit. Like they just constantly promote, don't I think, I like Frozen, but they constantly like promote 
Frozen and the Rapunzel, like the Disney princesses and shit. And it seems like it's always like the same six or seven Disney movies that are getting like pumped out and promoted. Like there's so many other Disney movies that aren't even pumped out or promoted or talked about. Even at Disney World, I don't know. It's very strange to me. Uh, I can do a flip on the trampoline, not a backflip though. But yeah. See, I'm the opposite demo. I can be on a roof all damn day, but flying scares me. I would like to learn how to fly a plane. Then in my brain, I could think like, okay, if the plane's ever going down, I could just jump into the fucking controller seat and fly that bitch to safety. <laughs> in my brain, that makes sense. I would literally die on the job every day for probably 120 bucks an hour. <laughs> oh my God, I never actually saw A Quiet Place. Oddly enough, I was doing promotion for that movie, so I was sitting outside promoting that movie, but I never watched that movie. Oh my god. Oh, fuck you, Clindamycin. Best comedy so far is Neighbors. I'm so sorry, this shit makes me want to die. It feels awful. Oh my god. The Clindamycin I'm taking makes my stomach hurt. It sucks. We only got eight more days. We're good. Eight more days. I'm done with this bullshit. But I heard once you start antibiotics, you can't stop it. Hey, thank you, Ag. Hey, cute sleazy. How are you? Good to see you. So, you need to take it fully because I heard that if for any particular reason, even if you even if you feel better, you should never stop antibiotics midway. You always have to like finish the prescription. I don't know why. I just heard that it could fuck up your body. Not even less effective. I heard it could fuck you up. Not enough people know that. Nobody tells me those. They see, again, like that shit that nobody ever told me. My mom told me that, but the doctor doesn't tell you that when they give it to you. Hey, I love from New York. Jersey represent. Good to see you doing well. Dude, it's been great. It's been really cool. I love my new house. Everything's been going really great. I'm very, I'm very happy. And finally, things are coming together. I mean, things are never really apart. It's just always coming together in a different way. Life is crazy. One chapter ends, new one begins, etc. How are you doing? I don't really like so. I can't, I can't drink soda. I could drink like seltzer, but I don't even have any. A hey, projector squad, what's good? 300 people are watching me burp. Love that. <clears throat> oh. Antibiotics aren't good to start. I know. It is really bad for you. It kills all your good bacteria and bad bacteria, but... <laughs> kills all the good bacteria and the bad bacteria, but I feel like if there's any bad bacteria in me, then it's killing it too, so, you know. <laughs> My last job was to go help a scuba diver search for a ring. Oh, that's so fucking cool. I can't go scuba diving, though. Um, I feel like I'm going to get that thing called bends, where you, like, breathe too quickly, and then you just get bends in your blood and shit. And that scares the hell out of me, too. I'm so fucking sorry I'm burping. <laughs> Fuck, man. Oh, hi, hot tea. Thank you so much for being in the chat. Hello, my love. How are you? Sorry, I'm on antibiotics right now and I'm burping a fuck ton because it's making my stomach feel like shit. Hot Tino, she, she, she gets it. We've talked about health shit before. She definitely understands about any kind of health shit as well. What is magnet fishing? Been seeing your TikToks looking happy as fuck. Oh yeah, no, the, I, the TikTok things are really great. I mean, TikTok kind of, any form of social media platform, I feel like regardless hates me. I always start some shit. No matter where I go or what social media I begin, I'm always getting in trouble for something or another. <laughs> but yeah, they know they're good. They're doing good. I got shadow banned on my personal account, so I kind of got discouraged from using that. So I've been focusing on my couple account with Jason. But um, yeah, I might start that one up again too and do some more Adventure Time stuff. But yeah, <clears throat> the at yeah the at's the same as my name here, Miss Underscore Angelique. <clears throat> Oh my god, W, everything. How do I do socials? Let's go. I got this. Where am I? 
socials. Yay. Ah. Take a water sip. Oh, by the way, K. Sweezy, how's the girlfriend? Standard decompression. Oh, I know. Blech. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> um, I do have Alka Cell Hope Probiotic. Oh my god, wait, I do have probiotics. Wait, 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 wait. I have um oh my god, I have kombucha too. <sighs> I'm gonna go get kombucha. Starting <gasps> You're going to move to Florida? Oh my God, no! Move to California? <laughs> no, I'm excited for you, that's awesome. Hell yeah, hell yeah for the house hunting. Oh, I'm doing really good. I Yeah, I'm doing a lot of, you know me, I always do an outdoor shit. I, I can't sit still, I genuinely can't. Every time I come back from a trip, I'm ready to go again. I can never just stay in one place, ever. I can't, it's just tragic, honestly. You attach a very strong magnet to the rope and throw it in the water and pull out all kinds of cool things. Oh my fucking god, Demo. All I'd want to do is go treasure hunting. That'd be amazing. I thought you moved to Florida ages ago. No, 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 no. No, she didn't. No, you didn't. No, she didn't. No, 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 she didn't. No. You're willingly moving to Florida. Oh, I would love to. Yeah, you, I, Tati, honestly, like, I fucking, I for sure see you in Florida. I 100% see you in Florida. You will fucking, you will fucking love Florida, honestly. I feel like everyone belongs in a certain place you would love. Yeah, I could 100% see you doing outdoor shit, and then also I could see you in Miami. Well, I'm, I, yeah, I'm drinking water, but I'm also going to go drink kombucha, so. Wow, you can click my link tree. It has all my things in there. It's Miss underscore Angela W everywhere. You got tricked by all the stories? No, that's, that's, Tati, do you say where you live? Or no? You were there for a few months. I'm deaf a bird. I fly south. In the yeah, okay, there we go. In Rhode Island. Dude, it's okay, Wag. Um, where can you see me living? Duncan, I don't know you. I can't tell you where I see you yet. Canada is where it's at. Canada is very cold. I don't think Hatsu would like it there. She likes, the, she likes the sun. Oh my God, it's coming. <laughs> yeah, exactly. As long as there's a beach and warm weather. <laughs> We got a Henny. I never really got into Henny. I don't really like a ton of dark liquor. The most dark liquor that I like is like, I'll have whiskey sours. Um, I like rum. I used to do rum and Cokes and stuff, but not so much soda anymore. So just, you know, rum. Either or, it's the happiest I've seen you been. Oh, thank you. I have been really happy. I'm, um, thank you for noting. I have a lot of good feedback from people saying that, and it makes me happy when people say that to me. Girlfriend's been great, been motivating me to do a lot of what I've wanted to do. That's good. That's really, really good. That's the best is when you find a relationship that motivates you to want to do stuff for yourself rather than just kind of like take away time to focus on. I mean, it is always a balance, but finding the people that motivate you to be the best you is truly, that's like the, that's the move. <laughs> you pour it on the female dog. Please don't pour it on female dogs. Thank you. A, sc a screwball? Screwball, like like orange juice and vodka. That is a screwball is orange juice and vodka, right? I'm pretty sure. Danielle, you know what gamer goo is. Danielle, come on now, gamer goo. It's the moisturizing goo that also smells bomb that you put on your hands to make them nice and dry and tight on a controller so you don't slip. Come on now. Oh, a screwball. What's a screwball? Hati, what's a screwball? <laughs> That's a screw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's a, what's a screwball? Is, is a screwball orange juice and rum? You can. Screwball is peanut butter whiskey? <gasps> what? 
We why have I not known about this? We you mean peanut butter whiskey, not peanut butter and whiskey, right? Oh, dude, I'm trying that. My go-to recently is tequila. Not just any tequila, but Casamigos, baby. I love Casamigos tequila, truly. Truly, Casamigos is just fantastic with anything, so that's my go-to right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, let him eat. Damn, why? what are you doing? I've heard it all. <laughs> hey, hang on. I want to look this up now. Peanut butter whiskey. Screwball. No, not the not the baseball move. What the fuck? Screwball drink recipe. Screwball hot chocolate. Peanut butter hot cho. Oh, fuck me up. Let's go. Screwball peanut butter whiskey. Add six ounces of hot chocolate. Optional whipped cream. Islands of Misfits, screwball whiskey, dark rum, orange juice, pineapple juice, cream of coconut. That just sounds like I'm gonna get really angry and dance on a table. Screwball coffee, screwball and coffee, optional whipped cream. Sounds like I'm gonna get drunk and stay awake really for a long time. Pumpkin Paradise, ooh, fuck me. Jaina, we are saving this and we are making these. God damn, let's go. Okay, Pumpkin Paradise, 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree. 15 ounce can of cream of coconut. 15 ounces of screwball peanut butter whiskey. Zaya Grand Reserve rum, orange juice, pineapple juice, pumpkin cream of coconut mix, two dashes of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of cinnamon, three tablespoons of nutmeg, three tablespoons of sugar, a dash of powdered pumpkin spice, and three pineapple leaves. Bruh. <laughs> what the fuck, man? That's wild. That just tells me I'm not remembering my night. That entire speech that I just read to you was just, you're not gonna remember your night. That's great, thanks, thank you. Holy shit. Okay, spiked peanut butter, so exactly three pineapple leaves, holy fuck. <laughs> yeah, you could put in your espresso. That's what I do with Bailey's. I'm not a fan of Jack Daniels fan now. The fact you said let him eat ain't helping. Ooh, Nutella. Hello, DNB. Cream of cocoa. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Gamer hand lube and peanut butter whiskey. That's the name of my next stream. Bro, somebody please send me screwball peanut butter whiskey. Holy fuck, please, please. Spiked peanut butter cider. Hot apple cider and peanut butter whiskey. That's This sounds all really great. Peanut butter whiskey. PB&J shot. Peanut butter whiskey and Chambord liqueur. Wow, this is insane. Use a six ounce glass with a large ice cube. One large ice cube. Pour in Chambord first and let it sit at the bottom of the glass for 3.2 minutes. Pour in the peanut butter whiskey. It will float on top of the Chambord. Serve garnish with four fresh raspberries, optional. <laughs> oh my God, I love this shit. I'm saving this page and we're gonna have another bartend. Hot tea. Are you ever planning on coming to Cali? Okay, I'll drink it straight, but are you ever planning on coming to Cali? Like just for a visit again or nah? Because let me tell you something. If you do come for a visit, I can set it up so we can do like, I can make it like a stream goal to do a bartending stream with you. And me and you could just get hammered and make drinks on stream like I did that one time. That was fun. That stream was a disaster. We made it to the fourth drink and then everyone got too drunk to fucking do the last one. For those of you who missed my bartending stream, I actually thought it would be a swell idea to get over some, my stomach is rumbling right now, um, to bring some streamer friends to her home in LA. Um, I think, I, if I remember correctly, it was me, Moon, Barb, Zach, Digital, and Curly Chris, I believe it was the five of us. Um, and I made it so we all made one drink on stream. So it was like a taste test thing. So like. There was gonna be five drinks as a taste test. So we're gonna fill up half the glass and I bought the, all the ingredients to make every single one. And each one of us was in charge of a different drink. So I started out making the Bloody Marys as our first drink, we all drank them. Then I believe it was Moon who made whiskey sours. We all drank them. Then Barb made mojitos. Then it was something else, tequila. It was a margarita. And then the last one was espresso martini. 
Needless to say, I don't really remember before the, after the third drink, it got fuzzy. I definitely don't remember the espresso martini. I think at that point we were just pouring Hershey syrup into a plastic cup and I don't know what happened, but it was really fun. And then me and, me and Zach started singing Bon Jovi and then the night kind of got fuzzy. <laughs> it was fun as fuck though. Once you move, you'll visit. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, no, it was a really fun bartender challenge for sure. Very, very fun. Hell yeah. Okay, well, whoa, whoa, listen, listen, everybody. I feel like balls right now. Like this is really, this is getting bad. So I'm going to go drink some kombucha and go chill. But listen, thank you so much for an amazing stream. And if you, oh my God, I feel so bad burp. Thank you to everybody who followed. <laughs> Thank you to everybody who subbed, resubbed, gifted, subbed. I appreciate you guys. Hi, MM Twin. If you're new, please join the Discord. Make sure your Twitch is linked. We're doing sub movie night tomorrow night. Um, what else? Sub movie night tomorrow night. Sub games Friday. After fitness games tomorrow, we're doing some art as well. Tomorrow's going to be Spice World. If you're going to be on camera, Spice World inspired outfit. Thank you so much, Hot Tea. Shout out to Hot Tea as well. And thank you to everybody who cheered and the best mods ever, ever. Call of Booty, Almighty, Razod, Mango, Paul. And thank you, Anonymous Gifter, for my sure mic. I'm very stoked to set this up. Thank you very much, Big Pog. We'll be doing this soon. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. <laughs>